How's it? Aloha. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Trauma Fishing Show. As you can see right now, there's a little bit of lightning and thunder show going on. But uh, hopefully it clears up for tomorrow's dive. Maybe a kumu and a kala for my girlfriend's birthday party. And it's gonna be delicioso. I need to get some sleep, rest up, and hopefully tomorrow it cleans up a little bit. So come along for another exciting episode of Trauma Fishing Show. Alright! that I'm going to be using tomorrow. First, I got my gun. This is a 110 centimeter boot shot Euro pipe gun. I got a reel on it, just in case I shoot big fish. Next, I got my wetsuit. The warmer you are, the longer you can hold your breath. Last but not least, I got my long blade fins. These puppies will help me kick down to the bottom. So that's the last of my gear. So hopefully it stops raining. Waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, at least it stopped raining. All right, I just got to my friend Jason's house. We loaded up our kayaks and we're ready to go. It looks like it's a lot better conditions this morning, so uh, hopefully it's gonna be a good day. All right, my last piece of equipment here is a Scupper Classic kayak. This two hatch kayak is ideal for diving because of its hollow hull, I'm able to load in a lot of equipment. All right, so once I paddle out to my spot, I uh, get on my dive watch and this records the depth of my dive and how long I hold my breath for. Up next is my low volume Aqualung mask. The, the lower the volume in a mask, it's less pressure on your face when you dive to deeper depths. And there's my weight belt, and this is to counteract the buoyancy on my wetsuit. All ready to go. Got my gun, my mask on, my long blade fins, ready to jump in. As I take my last breath, I take out the snorkel from my mouth. This is just in case that I shallow water blackout and so water doesn't get funneled into my lungs. During the case of a shallow water blackout, you have approximately five minutes to be found by your dive partner to be resuscitated. This is one of many dangers while free diving. That's why it's ideal to always dive with a dive partner. Here, you see me grunting in a nice school of kumus. Oh my god, this fish is so delicious. My favorite fish of the Chinese people, the Kumu, the Red Empress of the Water. The Kumu, or White Saddle Goldfish, is an endemic creature to Hawaii. Due to overfishing, the populations have declined over the years. Whenever I come across some kumu, I only take one so I can come back and catch more for another day. Some of the ways that I like to call in fish is throwing sand off the bottom, grunting, and scratching the coral with my fingers. <laughs> grunting is a noise that I make with my throat. <laughs> What is that What's going on? Rulers in fishes, and so they look at me kind of funny, like a Godzilla or something. Godzilla! <laughs> that is how you grunt for a fish. <sighs> what 
Mr. Murky! So, I've been looking inside the hole for another invasive species, but they seem to be evading me. Boy! Baby, dance with me. Come on, baby, dance So, with I look me. up and I notice that there's Come a Hawaiian hookfish, a shoot stick man. Me. This little bugger cannot get away baby, from dance me. With me. So I not be worrying, I get myself another fish and another fish for my table. Boss, ah, I been making pun intended. Alright, it's time to paddle in. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to clean and cook a fish. But first, I'm going to show you how to clean a fish. So what I like to do is I like to get a knife or either a spoon and go against the grain of the fish's scales. Okay, starting from the anus, I cut my way up slowly all the way up to the bottom of the mouth. The next thing I like to do is grab the gills and grab the gills and everything kind of just comes out at one time. So there you have it. That's how you clean a fish. Well, instead of cooking kumu, I'm going to do the same technique and I'm going to steam a moi instead and uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. So this is just a simple wok ring. This is to hold the plate off the water. So first things first, got some ginger. And all I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to finally just dice this in strips right on top and I'll put some inside the stomach. Next I got some cilantro, Chinese parsley, cut off the majority of the stems. Yeah, just a real rough chop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a majority of it right here and just put it right on top of the fish just like that. Green onion. So I'm just gonna chop this up real quick. Get this green onion in here. And just, just sprinkle it on top again. If a fish doesn't fit in, you can either cut off the head or you can cut off the tail. Just because I'm Chinese, I love eating the head, so I'm gonna like leave the head on. The fish in the plate, all ready to go. Um, I, all I wanna do is just add a little bit of shoyu. That's it, just a, just a tap. Yeah. Cover it up. What I did is I turned the heat up on high, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it to a a simmer, not a rolling boil because what will happen is the the meat will actually curl up and it will harden, and you don't want that. Got him. Small boiling bubbles. And right when you get that, you want to turn it down to a lower heat and let it slow cook for about 15 minutes. When it's done, you'll be able to stick a chopstick right through the right through the fish. It's ready. This is uh, sesame seed oil, or you can use peanut oil, and put about a couple of tablespoons. Really thins out when the oil heats up real hot. So not forgetting about those greens, those those leftovers. What I do is I just put that on top. All right. So the next thing that I do is I get the hot peanut oil or the sesame oil and just crack it right over the top. The nice white meat. Get some of the sauce on there. Mm. So good. Oh my god. It's so delicious. Super simple, really quick, steam fish, Chinese style. Sing, 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 sing. Everybody stop.